My main area of focus as an educator is on research methods and methodology. So teaching students not just how to be consumers of science, but also doers of science. I have the opportunity to see the point at which my students take what they've learned in the classroom, in the lab, and actually put it to use in the clinical setting. And when we see that light bulb moment of, oh, wow, what you taught me for two hours is actually relevant and fun, and see their joy in mastering a skill. That is very rewarding to me. It's a lot of fun to watch the students take a break from sitting in a classroom and staring at PowerPoints and just listening to us talk, 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 and they really get to kind of get their hands dirty and learn the more procedural aspects of medicine. The teachers and professors in the CIOS program are very enthusiastic about teaching and they are very knowledgeable. Uh, whenever I have questions, I can always count on them giving me the most informative explanation every time. Working as a clinical instructor in Hillsboro, we often have students come into the clinic either for internships or observational experiences. Um, I feel that UNC recruits some of the best and the brightest and then we train those students clinically speaking to go on and serve the citizens of North Carolina. Serving on professional committees that develop our national educational content specifications for imaging programs has allowed me to share my insight and consequently to have an impact on the curriculum content that is used nationwide. I, I love the faculty at UNC. They are they are by far the best and I hope that later on I will be able to teach just as well as they can. Our lab studies brain plasticity or the brain's ability to change and remodel with experience. So we study the brain in both adults that have experienced a stroke and then also children that have also experienced a stroke. So it's really a lifetime or lifespan neuroplasticity lab. My primary area of research is exploring activism as an occupation. We're developing a new way to diagnose and measure treatment progress for social communication problems after traumatic brain injury. My dissertation is about autistic young adults, their sleep experiences, and especially focusing on how their habits and routines influence on their sleep. My research interest really focuses on identifying the role and the potential of the medical laboratory to serve as an education source for patients receiving clinical laboratory services. My current research focus is in health equity um, and health services for minoritized adults with intellectual and developmental disabilities. I work with some really talented surgeons, um, including Dr. Shrag Desai, and he and I have worked together a lot on um, pancreatic surgeries as well as the outcomes related to um, pancreatic surgery, specifically total pancreatectomy with eyelid transplant. As I'm doing more work with the PA program, other areas of research I'm interested in include um, the process of admissions and outcomes and sort of opportunities related to admissions of applicants um, and trying to create a really diverse cohort of PAs. We offer the HEALS to Transition program, out, which is operated out of the Department of Health Sciences. And it consists of three main programs right now, um, the HEALS Prep program, the HEALS Up program, and the HEALS Weekend Away. Um, it's a great interdisciplinary effort through many of our divisions in health sciences. Um, when I graduated college in 2017, I started working in EMS, emergency medical services, as an EMT, and so I got to see a lot of people in crisis um, and mental health crisis, so I wanted to kind of get some more training in regards to uh, mental health counseling to actually serve our, our first responders. I provide individual and group psychotherapy to folks who are dealing with substance use and addiction issues. Before coming to PA school, um, I worked for the better part of a decade in community mental health as a licensed clinical social worker. And one of the things that I noticed is so many of my clients in the community just had a lot of trouble accessing basic health care and really had a lot of unmanaged chronic health care conditions. And so what I wanted to do coming into this program was to take what I knew from mental health um, and combine it with medicine you know, to work in kind of an integrated care setting. I think being in the Department of Health Sciences has been um, a really wonderful place to grow my career. My experiences here in the program have been invaluable. I've learned not only about biomechanics, neuroimaging, and motor learning, but also how to ask important research questions, how to appropriately answer the research questions, 
and then how to disseminate that to my colleagues and clinicians in the field. I get to work closely with individuals from other disciplines, whether it's the School of Medicine or Health Sciences or Pharmacy or Nursing. And so partnering with all of those disciplines has such a positive impact, not just on our patients and our consumers, but also on the students that we train. A lot of what we've learned in the PA program, in addition to like traditional medicine, is really a patient-centered approach to care. There's so many ways in which medicine can be better, and it feels like this program is on the cutting edge of that. Ultimately, I hope that more people would know about occupation, know the importance of that, and could benefit their everyday life. One of the things that I'm really hopeful that we have laid the foundation for in the preclinical phase is that critical thinking piece, is to always ask why. Audiology as a profession right now is on the cusp of quite a bit of change. Some of that change is exciting, some of it is a little bit scary in terms of it being perceived as a threat. And I've really enjoyed some of the in-depth conversations and debates that I've had with students to try to prepare them for the new future of audiology. We are hopeful by um, building some of these skills for adulthood that whether it's in employment or community safety or community living, that they will uh, be able to participate more and um, feel a part of their community. A recent study that came out through Harvard Medical School last year showed that 82% of doctors think that people with disabilities have a less quality of life. And I'm really passionate about destigmatizing that and having healthcare providers understand that on a, on a different level. Um, and I think that needs to start here with UNC. Later on down the road, I kind of want to start my own private practice um, in like a rural community, which is where I'm from. So I grew up with people not really getting the care they need for mental health, so I think I want to kind of give back to places like where I grew up. This past year I was diagnosed with breast cancer at the age of 23. It showed me that there's a lack of resources um, for people who have cancer. Once you're out of the hospital you have no resources and so I really hope to open an outpatient clinic um, for people who have cancer um, so that they can get the resources they need. I hope that wherever I end up I am able to kind of help create change. PT is a field that's largely underrepresented in terms of minorities, both students and practicing clinicians. And as an African American provider, I've really been able to see the difference I make for those patients as well as the inspiration I'm able to provide for students. Taking some of the lessons I learned here at UNC as a student and also uh, in the world practicing and hopefully push some of that knowledge forward so that students can continue to take better and better care for the patients they'll interact with with the future. If I can help someone be able to walk for longer so that they can go on the walk with, walk with their husband or their wife or help somebody play with their grandchildren um, for five minutes longer than they were able to, those little victories seem really small for us, um, especially for people that you know don't have a disability are not rehabilitating from some injury. It seems something that we take for granted, but makes a huge difference in people's lives. I hope the impact of my work is one, to better situate how we understand what happens with groups of people, but to use that information to, to make real change. As laboratory scientists, uh, this is a perfect opportunity for us to expand and really begin to engage in patient education in a tangible manner. Coming from Jamaica, I want to bring that immigrant perspective to the healthcare field and hopefully bridge some gaps that are currently there. I'm really passionate about creating uh, more accessibility, especially physical accessibility here on campus in the area. And also I think we need to engage in more competitive games of musical chairs.